July of 2019, and I'm with my wonderful daughter Haley, here up in Maine at Acadia National Park to enjoy this beautiful place for two days. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and hit that bell. Let's go. So we are starting day one of two here at Acadia National Park. We're making our way to the visitor center right now. There are a lot of people here today, very crowded. But before we tell you what we're gonna to do today, let me show you how things went last night. Let's do a quick rewind right now. We have just pulled into Acadia National Park. Let me tell you what we're about to do. So, waiting through two accidents on the road, a lot of traffic at the George Washington Bridge and then a downed tree right in the middle of the highway. The eight hour drive from New Jersey took 10 hours, but uh, we're gonna blow up our air mattresses outside of the campground. We'll let people sleep. It's about 12.30 right now. Uh, hopefully we'll walk into our campsite, put our heads in the pillow, one o'clock, get some sleep. But we are here. Welcome to Acadia National Park. How's it going, Dad? I've never seen a line at a national park for information like this before. So as you can see, there's a string of cars to my right. A lot of people here at Acadia National Park on the first day of July, 2019. You all set for our first hike? Oh yeah, the Beehive hike. Yeah, this one is called the Beehive. And this is uh, one of the things that Acadia is famous for climbing up the side of a rock face with iron rungs, as they call them. Uh, so it's almost like um, ladders sort of built into the rock. You okay with heights? Well, we'll see. <laughs> It'll let's, be fun. It'll let's be put fun. it this way. Mom did this hike three years ago. Mom so did not that mom's not athletic, she's just not a big fan of steep cliffs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if you just hold on, as the lady always told me last time we came here, three points of contact. So here's the main loop road right across from Sand Beach. Here's the ocean. We're coming in on the Bowl Trail. That is a moderate trail. Then we'll go up the Iron Rungs to the Beehive, 520 feet above sea level. We'll come around the backside, get back on the Bowl Trail again, and we will be done. That is considered strenuous. All right, we made it to the trailhead. Oh. See the people on the cliff? Yeah. What do you think about it? That doesn't look too bad. I didn't even notice that. That's what you're getting yourself into. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. There's a big warning sign, Haley. Ooh. This trail follows a nearly vertical route with exposed cliffs that requires climbing on iron rungs. Small children and people of fear of heights should not use this trail. Huh. If you know your limitations and you pay attention, you're relatively safe and you can enjoy the adventure. Obviously some teenage boy, Haley, as we were walking by, was not following those rules and his mom was kind of giving him a little tongue lashing and she said stupid can get you hurt what a great quote <laughs> just pay attention use your head go slow and stay focused then she said to him she goes you have ability but use your brains So how are you enjoying this hike? I will say, it might be one of my favorite hikes I've ever done on a national park trip. Wow, so, that's, <laughs> that's saying a lot, Haley. I know, well, it's just like, it's so fun. Like, it's, it's very different, the view, it keeps getting better. You think it's good, but it just keeps getting better. Wow, would you check that out? How about that for a view, huh? Yeah, it's so pretty. What a great hike. The breeze on the ocean feels nice. It does feel nice. My body's just sweating. <laughs> you know what bad? I like about that trail so much? 
is that not only is the view incredible when you get up here, yeah. but, the, but the hike up mm -hmm. is impressive and very unique as well, isn't it? A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Great good. time. All right, so we got about uh, two dozen people up here celebrating as well on the top of the beehive, 520 feet above sea level. And uh, we're going to go back down a more moderate trail, take to the trailhead, and go to our second location. We're signing off. Second location. Can you see it? Oh, you have a little preview. Oh, cool. Sand Beach. We'll see you there next. One, two, three. Welcome to Sand Beach! What a gorgeous day here in Acadia National Park. And you got to see Sand Beach from the aerial perspective when we were up on the beehive. Now you're right on the ground, sea level. And I got the swimsuit on, Haley. You know what that means? Going in for a swim. It means absolutely nothing. Oh. I don't think I'm going in. That water's frigid. We didn't even try it yet. We just see There's no one in the water. But let's keep moving on. Maybe. Maybe. I'm definitely not warming up to the idea, if you know what I mean. There's also a nice view of the beehive that we just climbed. That's what those lifeguards say. It's about 50 to 51 degrees. That's not so bad. I just gotta do this. No pain. Right now I'm a little above my knees. Everything is numb. Woo! Feel bad. Uh, now that I'm out and the sun's on me, it feels pretty good. But it's it's chilly. It's really chilly. You see why really no one's in the water. At least be on their knees. We're up in the chilly northern Atlantic Ocean waters. What a great day for a swim. Behind you, Haley, another shot of Sand Beach. You see it back there? Yeah. Look at that. We've gone all around Sand Beach today. We've seen it from every different angle. Yep. Remember going there back in 2008? I do. We played in the little creek that runs um, like from the mountains to the ocean. We built a sand castle. I remember. It was fun. <laughs> 11 years ago. It's weird. Hard being, to believe it. It doesn't seem like it was that long Half ago. Half your life ago. And this is what makes Maine so special. The iconic rocky coastline. So beautiful, unlike really anything on the entire eastern sea.
Um, can I just have the lobster dinner? I'll take the uh, fish tacos. Great. You twist off the claws, you crack it open, you just eat the meat right out. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, this is a, uh, he's going in, I'm gonna pull one out at the same time. I'm gonna switch around. So you kinda get them, put them right in. Ooh. A little magic photography there. Look how quick he was done. <laughs> so like right now I'm making twin tails with a crutch. Whoa, look at that. So these are just like those tails prepped up. That so looks we, fantastic. We grill them cast iron skillet style. Wow. And then basically do this. A little bit of Bernays, a little bit of butter. Yep, so those are twin tails. Might not be too late to change my order. <laughs> <laughs> They're tasty. This you're doing all that while you're hanging on one crutch right there, huh? Yeah, man. Oh, boy. It's Maine. That's beautiful. I you got to do this when you're in Maine, right? <laughs> you have to. I don't think you ever actually went to Maine if you didn't get a lobster. That's what I've heard. All right, Haley, after that nice dinner, you know what I'm thinking? I do know what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's ice cream time. <laughs> All right. It has been one action-packed day today, Haley, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. And we are on our last stop. This is uh, probably one of my favorites here at Acadia. And I think the best lighthouse, in my opinion, although I haven't seen many of them. This is Bass Harbor Lighthouse. And we don't have a, a sunset directly near us, but maybe we'll get some nice colors in the clouds. But we're heading out right now. Sun is due to set in about 30 minutes. Yep. And let's see what we can find. You guys are having a pizza party. Yeah. You selling per slice? How'd you get that far so fast? To navigate these rocks to get back. Um, I just have a feeling that that sky is going to light up on me. But I came here with a thin shirt and no sleeves. Totally unprepared. Should have brought a sweatshirt. And we're heading back to the car right now. We're going to call it a day. Right, so that's day one at Acadia. We have enough footage for probably two vlogs on this trip. Thanks so much for watching part one. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll cover part two. If you haven't done so yet, from Bass Harbor Lighthouse, I'd ask you please to subscribe to our channel. And always remember, here at America's Parks, there's room for you on our next National Park adventure. That was well done. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you.